Well, good morning, family of grace. Glad to be with you for a few minutes this morning. So I've been thinking this morning about this question that I've heard a lot around our house. Uh, and, it, and it's this, we've been asking ourselves, how are you dressed today? Now, that question probably sounds to you like uh, maybe another question we say around our house, are you wearing that again? Right, so the kids come down the steps and they're uh, dressed the same way they were yesterday. I say, are you wearing that again? And uh, then I look down and I've got the same jeans on that I've worn for the last 12 days, right? Um, and uh, one of the same sweatshirts that have been rotating through in the last month. I put on this shirt just for you this morning. You're welcome. Uh, and right after this video, I'm going to be changing back into one of those same three sweatshirts. So we've, we're all creatures of habit, right? We've got our comfy clothes. But, but in our house, when, it, when we ask, how are you dressed? We don't always mean our clothes, what we're wearing. And they, the kids know this, my family knows this, because we've been memorizing uh, part of Colossians. Actually, our, not our, just our whole family, our whole house church has been memorizing some verses in Colossians, 1 through 17 of, of chapter 3. I'm not going to recite them all, because I'm a little bit behind on my memorization, to be honest. But, but I, I want to talk about just one verse this morning. It's Colossians 3 verse 12, and it says this, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And so we've been memorizing this verse and talking about it as a family. And so I'll say to the kids a lot of times, how are you dressed today? And they know what I'm asking. They know that I'm asking, are, are you wearing compassion right now? Are you wearing kindness and humility and gentleness and patience? Because there's so many interactions that we walk into. And if we're really honest with ourselves, we're not wearing that, right? And I got, I got to be the first to admit to my kids, I, I don't always dress that way. I don't know. I'm not always dressed the way I need to be. You know, Pastor Jeff, this past Sunday, one of the questions he asked us, he, he talked about the greatest witness of God's character in this world is how we relate to each other. And so he asked us, are we relating to those around us in a way that reflects God's goodness? And, and I think the way that God's been asking my family that over the last few weeks, it's, it's essentially the same question as how are you dressed? Are you dressed in a way spiritually that reflects my character? Are you, are you clothed with compassion for each other? with kindness and gentleness, treating each other with the honor you deserve just because you're, you're made in my image? Are, are you patient with each other because none of you are perfect? Are you patient with yourself? Sometimes that's the hardest person to have patience for is ourselves, knowing that we, we don't always get it right. And humility, that's the one that God's been working on me on. A lot lately. Am I dressed with humility? Walking into a conversation, assuming that I might not be right, and 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 even this, even letting go of the need to be right. Am I clothed with humility? Uh, you know, as as we try to wear these clothes, I can I can find they're a little stiff. They're not always comfortable. They don't feel like they fit right. <laughs> and that's why I'm so grateful for the way Paul started this verse because he tells us why these are clothes that are meant for us. He says, therefore, as God's chosen people. This is why you should be clothed this way. This is why these clothes are meant for you, because you're chosen. Do you know you're chosen this morning? So, so Rachel and I have been watching that series lately. Uh, you, you might have heard of it, The Chosen. It's about the life of Christ. Uh, an incredible series. I'd recommend it. But the one, the one thing that thing it's helped me see afresh in the Gospels as I return to God's Word is is the joy that it is to be chosen. Because you get to watch all these people, Matthew and Simon and Andrew and others, be chosen by Jesus. This man who talks in, in ways that they've never known anyone else to talk. A, a man who does things who no one else has done because it is God in the flesh. And then they come to a place where he chooses them. Do you know that you are chosen this morning? If you are in Jesus Christ, it's you are one of God's chosen people. And, and, and if not, if you've made it this far in the video and, and maybe you have not submitted your life to Jesus Christ, maybe you have not surrendered your heart to him, 
You say, what does that leave you? Can I tell you what he chose? He chose to go to the cross for you because you, me, everybody, we, we've all rebelled against God. We've all tried to take God's place in our own lives and, and acted like we don't need God. We've rebelled against him and that's called sin. And, and Jesus chose to come down in the flesh, God himself in the flesh, take on our sin, our guilt, and our shame. He bore it on the cross and he took it away. He chose us and now... Now he invites us to choose him back. So I, I hope you'll accept that invitation today. Choose God back. He chose you first. Will you choose him? So, so Paul says these clothes fit because you're God's chosen people. And, and not just that, you're holy, you're set apart. He doesn't just choose you. He sets you apart for a purpose to to bear witness to him, to carry the name of Jesus Christ. He sets you aside for a purpose. And that's a big task. And it's daunting because we can't do it perfectly, but that's when we need to remember that we are dearly loved. Do you know this this morning? Do you know you are dearly loved by the creator of the universe? If we can receive that this morning, that that's what helps these clothes fit a little more comfortably. That's what helps us know that compassion and kindness and humility and gentleness and patience, these are meant for us. Let's pick those clothes up this morning. Let's wear them. And uh, let's hope that they'll sometime be our, our comfy set of clothes <laughs> that we'll be wearing again and again and again. Well, Grace, it's been good to spend a few minutes with you this morning. I, I hope you'll join us again this coming Sunday as we continue in our series. If you missed the past couple of messages as we've started in our Psalm series, you can check those out on YouTube. Uh, Pastor Jeff preached two messages on Psalm 23, and you can find those there and catch up. And then join us again this coming Sunday as we continue in Psalms of Rest and Reflection at 9, 10, and 11 on Sunday morning. We'll see you then, Grace. Take care.